have a forum to have a forum the forms that had to be turned into handy with the extension through this meeting tonight uh, we have to have at least seven of them Ray you turned in yours Ken's automatically done have you turned I in have yours? mine with me okay so if you give it to me it's going to be given to Tom he's going to be giving it to Annie so that's three Isaac I know she said you turned yours in that's four Bill she said you did they have that's mine. five no, which form, Sandra which have you turned it? in the ethics uh, no, paper we have to sign hi Larry no, I haven't signed okay, it Okay, you have Larry it with me. Can you... Still I have it with me. I'll sign it, and then we'll give okay, it. Give Do you have me. a blank? You will Thank need you a chair, though. Pass this down, <laughs> yeah. please, to give to Sandra. Here. Would you fill that out? We're going to be giving this to... Thank you. We're dating it today, correct? Uh, yes, because she gave us an extension. Thanks. Unless Thank Tom you. changes that. You gave an extension till today. I'm sorry, Tom. You're signing it today, dated today. Thank you. That's... Legal. 17. Thank you. Oh, Larry, how are you? Yeah. Okay, do you have your form with you? Do. I'm okay, I'm told. Okay. <laughs> we'll get this right yet. <laughs> okay, I was also told that Bruce had turned no. his in. So Rich can Peggy just Bruce. turned hers in. I just turned mine in. We moved down the Rich. We got some. And Larry has just turned his in. We have a Quorum. That takes care of the first piece of <coughs> housekeeping. Whatever ones you collect tonight, Paul, I told Aunt Marie I'd take and give it to her first thing tomorrow. Okay, so we don't lose them? Can I give it to you right now? Sure. Yeah, they all are. No, there's one. There's one more oh, and there's another one coming. Oh, my, from mine is coming too. Hold on. Okay. We'll have two more. Is there anyone present that oh, didn't uh, send that? Voting. Not present. Sure. That did not, as a member, that did not sign it. All I know is the few names that she gave me and tonight, and according to Annie, unless he changes it, those that are not present tonight have not turned in the form, and we don't have it by the time we walk out of here, they're gone. Okay. Okay. If the county attorney's office overrules that, that's different. But according to Annie, that's it. Because if we didn't have enough, we wouldn't even have a meeting. We would have four. And there's also a notice uh, that there was going to be another appointment tonight. That, there was, we, that JJ had resigned and that someone else was being appointed at tonight's meeting. Was someone appointed? Uh, no, the, the, the legislative the meeting. They haven't gotten okay. to that yet. So we don't have somebody else Okay. There. Okay, Nadia, we're waiting for yours, I guess. Thank you. Today is the 17th. I just want to. Yes. Correct. Today is the 17th. So. Here you go. Okay, so that's my understanding. That's your understanding. Not here not tonight. Done. Not done. Not in. I not. I wasn't aware of that that's situation, but I'll, I will. What I am told. I said if they weren't here, we couldn't even have a quorum for them. So well, that I agree with. But I don't know about the failure to do that. Well, I don't know, know how the board yeah. was going to handle that. Okay, sure so Bill, that may still be an open issue. Okay. According to Tom. Okay, whether they are. I know Dave is not here. They exist or they don't. All right. So that's the first thing. Everybody is aware that J.J. Hansen has yes. resigned, is that correct? Um, that gives us 12 members. We need seven for a quorum, and we need seven for a majority to vote. So we're all square away on that before we begin. Third, uh, Scott, um, we had asked him to be here this evening. He called me. He said he could not because he had to be at another meeting, but he felt that his email where he explained what was going on sent to us and to the legislature with regards to Joss not presenting, et cetera, et cetera, should have been a full explanation for everybody. So Scott will not be here this evening. So I have to I'm going to interrupt you for a second, Paul, not, not, not to create issues. But um, I did have conversation with Scott after we conversed multiple times. Recall? Okay. Scott called me and knowing that Josh was not going to be here to explain to the board, especially answer certain questions. I had really insisted that Scott be here because there are certain questions that need to be answered. He assured me that he would be here. So I just want that part of public record that he assured me he would be here and I'm disappointed. 
that's all I have to say. It's just, you know, again, I, I, I believe me, I, I know, just like with me today, there were things that consumed my time that I was not expecting. Um, he may be busy, but as a chair of the county legislators, this is important, and, and I'm going to end it at that. I think he's at a meeting in Rock Hill, whatever. Yes, and I'm going to that right what after time, this. Okay, what time do you have to leave I'm here? I'm going to leave whenever we're done here, and that is um, the conversation that I had with those individuals there. Okay. So to me, this was important. That's why I'm here. What okay. meetings in Rock Just so Hill? you know, the Conservative meeting hasn't been oh. open, so to make your statement a part of it, uh, it's okay. Yeah, it could. It, the members here, here, I know. Okay, just letting you know. It's between us mice, I guess. Yeah, the members here, here. Okay, um, I took care of the housekeeping for the minute, so if you will please stand and join me in the pledge to the flag, we'll get started. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One, one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Next, Terry, would you please do the roll call? Sure. Bill Ledlick? Here. Bruce Ferguson? Here. David Fouché? Isaac Green Dybolt? Here. Ken Walter? Here. Larry Richardson? Here. Nadia Raj? Here. Paul Burkhart? Here. Peg Harrison? Here. Ray Nargazian? Here. Sandra Johnson Fields? Here. Steve Oldman? Here. Okay, we have a quorum, which we've already determined, so we can proceed. Next, we'll have the approval of the minutes from the April 15th, 2015 meeting, which everybody has received and hopefully has had a chance to read. The May 20th meeting minutes will be held over to our next meeting because we haven't gotten those yet. So a motion is in order to move the April so 15th moved. meeting. Second. Is there a second? Uh, Not a second. That doesn't matter. Okay. Is there any corrections or additions to those minutes? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. All right. So we got that done. All right. Next, Nadia and I, after discussions, and I thank her for her help, um, sent out a meeting notice which covered two things one to have a discussion of what has recently occurred and I've got a couple opening comments because of something that happened on Saturday that I need to clear the air on in any event um, and also any other issue that was of concern to a Charter Commission member I made that very clear in the email that I sent out and not even agreed so we sent that out jointly because of what happened on Saturday, I just want to go back for a couple minutes and make sure that everybody's kind of up to speed. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for me were extremely hectic because I opened up the Democrat, I guess, on Wednesday and discovered instead of having one candidate, we actually had three candidates. And that has never happened before in Sullivan County. So my first thought was, what do I do? How do I handle this? What does this mean? We have the meeting coming up in a very short period of time. And in talking to another member of the commission, they made a suggestion, well, why don't we simply ask the legislature for a four-month hiatus and start over again right after the elections are over, clears the slate, removes any questions, makes it easier for the legislature, the charter commission members, the candidates, et cetera. It seemed to me to be a great idea. I tried to reach out to the chairman of the legislature to find out what he thought. He had his protocols, obviously. So I had all of this going on, and I was extremely concerned about doing the right thing and doing the right thing for the Charter Commission and its members. As long with that, we get on either Wednesday or Thursday the letter from Annie with regards to the ethics law, with her very specific letter with regards to timing, and then another email with regards to the forms that we had to file. I immediately read the ethics law. Quickly, I admit, but I read it, and I picked up on a couple things that I thought might, might, may be a problem, uh, depending on how the question was asked and what the county attorney's office might rule if they were asked at all. And I thought, well, this is another reason why to try to put it aside, go for months, start again. That was another good reason to go with the suggestion that had been made. And it was my understanding that the person who suggested it had talked to a few other people, they had agreed it was a good idea as well. 
and I try to reach out to people, etc. The third issue, and I was very much concerned with this because I had tried to set up the agenda for this meeting a month in advance so that Josh and Joe would be pre prepared to come. Nancy couldn't, we were aware of that. Joe had agreed to come in and do a full presentation on everything he controls with handouts. Nancy was then going to come to the next meeting. We had that all squared away. And I was extremely concerned that if the legislature chose to act quickly and to put us in hiatus for four months, then I would be canceling the meeting with them, and I felt that was very unfair to them to be canceled at the last second. Just not right. Secondly, if the candidates were successful and other people left, after the hiatus was over, we would have new people sitting at the Charter Commission table and would have to ask them to come back and do it all over again. And I felt that was very unfair. So I had all of this going on and I thought that people were talking to each other and everything got covered. In the meantime, Saturday, um, talking to Nadia. And, and that was she, the first I heard of it. And she got, <laughs> she got a phone call. I wasn't in on all these other conversations, but go ahead. But I was trying to catch you up. I, I did. Yeah. I, I did catch you, so as co-chair you were out there because I didn't have answers. Anyway, somebody called and complained that they had been left out and apparently um, didn't understand what was happening or didn't have an opportunity to have input. So I thought we had it covered, I just missed that, so I will apologize for that. Whoever that was, I'm sorry, that was my fault and I'll take the blame for it. So having said all of that, uh, I just wanted to make sure that I cleared the air for that person that called. Um, we were going to begin the discussion tonight on the idea of voting to ask the legislature to agree to pass a resolution to suspend us until right after the election. And I think the thought was if we could meet on November the 18th, Wednesday, a regular meeting night, and Josh and Joe would pick it up from there, uh, we would go right ahead. Uh, and have I left anything out, Nadia? I'll ask my coach. No, you. but for the record, I don't want to be, um, you know, lengthy again in my discussion. But I just want it noted that I am uh, disappointed that Scott Samuelson, the chair of our legislative body, uh, is not here tonight. Even after I had insisted and asked repeatedly for him to be here, and he assured me he would. Okay, Bruce. Yeah, I'd, I'd just like to comment that on two things. Uh, First of all, the, the, the resolution that you proposed or the motion. Uh, but before I get to that, I want to comment on the process that was undertaken to make this decision. I think it was improper for certain members of the, of the committee outside of, of the commission to be trying to f make the decision for the entire commission or for the legislature. What's the rush? It's June. The election is in November. This is a public meeting. Why on earth should it be canceled at the last minute? It's been scheduled for one month with certain presenters. What was the crying need to interrupt the process and people take the decision making away from the commission and away from the legislature and engineer something that, that was not fully discussed in an open way? I, I think that was absolutely wrong. I found out about it. I got a call from someone saying the decision had been made. It's totally. Oh, no, well, the decision was not made. No, and totally the person that called you not sure who it was, but it was really, matter. unless it was yeah. Paul, was out of line because well, I didn't why, even know at the time. But why, why is no. any discussion of this taking place outside of the commission? Well, in, Paul, in and, I, game of Paul and I converse because but we're co-chairs. With all due respect, Nadia, mm -hmm. I don't think co-chairs have the power to suspend this commission. And we didn't. Commission. We didn't. And we didn't. No okay. I did not. I said well, it needs no, to go to the was, committee. There was, and the committee. Certainly there was can a I, can I, can to I, do that, it seems no. to me. Can I just... Say something. I was trying to figure a way to no, get so that, was, that was can not I, the day. Can I, the night to have can I just still just say Bill. something? Um, there are a lot of boards in Sullivan County, and I've been thinking about this. And people go on with their lives. God forbid people die. Mm -hmm. People get sick. They can't be on boards. We can't predict the future. Every meeting of this Charter Review Commission has been out in the open. Everything. There's nothing. Nothing confidential. There's nothing disclosed. We all know why we have this now, and we know why we're asked to sign that. So I don't think we, any of us in this room have to skirt that issue. Um, everyone goes on with their lives, and everyone does different things around this table, and they choose to. 
We are all volunteers. We're not reimbursed for our gas. We're not reimbursed for our time, our energy, our efforts. We're all sitting around this table because we are committed to Sullivan County and we want the best for it. No one is influencing anyone. We know the issues that we're discussing and we haven't even got to them yet Charter re uh, in the Charter Review, whether it be stack of terms, whether it be term limits, whether it be county executive or not, are changing the codes of, of this county. But to come in the middle because three people who are in community service has come before us and said that they would like to participate in the electorate arena in November or September, they're entitled to do that. There is nothing that says that someone cannot run, because then nine people of our legislator, the legislative body that will be sitting here tomorrow, everyone, everyone's seat is up for election. And anything they, can, they do can be deemed as being political. And anyone who sits there can hear that being deemed as political. It's the year that they do budgets that are political. It's the year that they do, and that's, and that's any legislative body, whether it be in Sullivan County, or in Albany, or in Washington, D.C., or the city of New York, or any town or county. So to say that by three of the people in this room, sitting around this table, that it's, they're going to politically influence the Charter Review Commission is a lot of bunk. And, and Every legislator, they should cancel the process of Sullivan County government from now until November 18th, November 2nd, whenever election day is, so this way the people out there have the fair service of listening to correct debate. And that's, this would be a travesty if we, volunteers, the abuse that people around this table have to go through. Myself, I, it's, just so you know, it cost me $30 a month to send out my column. So nobody is paying me for nothing. So I have one interest. My interest is Sullivan County and its future and its viability. And that's what I hope everyone around this table's interests are. Paul. Nadia. Uh, uh, when Paul called me and informed me that um, this may be a possibility, this was not a done deal. I just want to clarify that. Uh, I did tell you at one point in our conversation, which was many times um, throughout that day, that I wanted to call the members and discuss with them. At that point, when Paul and I were, were speaking, I had no idea that there were conversations going around and people calling each other. I, w I feel like I, I was one of the last ones to know what the issues were and, and, and why the legislators were gonna vote on some resolution. Um, when you told me someone called you, that was well before I even knew. I just had that conversation with Paul, so obviously that person already knew that this conversation was going on. And, and I don't want to belabor this. But one of the things that I did tell you, uh, it, originally when you proposed this, I was not in favor of it entirely, because I said, just like Bill is saying, we are in a fact-finding arena right now. That's all we're doing. We are just conversing, we're just listening, uh, we're gathering information. We're not making any decisions, nor are we I don't think ready to make any decisions for some time. So I was not entirely in favor of this, but after listening to you and your reasons, and I said, okay, uh, we need to speak to the members and, and bring it back here. But it was not a done deal. Yeah, Understand my that. My point is, I think it was inappropriate to begin the discussions outside of this room, period. But I agree, because, but, but I had no idea that there were other there discussions was no, being people talk. There was I, no I, rush I to I had begin no the discussions outside of this room tonight. But, That's my point. But Bruce, people have a right to talk to each yeah. other. It was, it was not I mean, merely talk, it was to try and it make something happen. To me as a happen. suggestion, it was my understanding that the person I talked to a couple of other people, they all thought it was a good idea. I, at first, I was no one dealing asked with me, these I issues. Said I, did not I think thought this a is idea. a great idea. It just gets everybody out of this thing for four months, but, and then we don't have any problems. Nobody's embarrassed. Well, what are the problems? What are we going to be embarrassed about? Were. That's the question. Larry's next. I, I, uh, I'm committed to this commission and I'm committed to the time, but my time is valuable. The way I see this is that if, if the three individuals here are lucky enough to be elected, at that point in time, is it right for them to continue to serve on this commission? No, they couldn't. No, we couldn't. Would not, right? So that means that if we're gonna continue with hearings, the rest of us are going to have to set through those hearings for a second time to reorient new people, to bring them up to speed. And I 
I, in my opinion, I think it would be prudent to suspend it and take it up after that. Whoever replaces JJ is going to have to go back from where okay. we first met in January. Right. I understand. But if you're, replacing, if you're replacing three people, it's, it's just going to be a lot of push to bring the people back in and let them hear. Yeah. Right. One other thing and they're all sitting next to each other. Yeah, That's the interesting here. part. It, there's, a, there's another <laughs> perspective <laughs> that we're, we're not aware of. I got a call late this afternoon. Uh, it, Sam is now here. Uh, the county attorney wishes to speak to the commission because apparently there is another perspective for discussion at the table in that the commission may be able to continue to function and not stop and we don't have to do that. And other considerations that we thought you know, might, be might work if we were to suspend it may not uh, be the case either. So before we go on with our discussion, we should I ask. think uh, Mr. Walter had his hand up. Oh, Ken, I'm sorry. I was, let's see, 18. I also want to I'm speak Scott, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Scott, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. Number one, just I'm so not Scott. when I'm I first si yeah, offered Steve. myself to serve on this board, I had no intention of, of running. Steve. It's just circumstances did that. Whoever comes on to fill a seat, no matter, they always have the minutes to go back and refer to. We don't have to do the pony show, mm -hmm. show all over again. Right. We all have them to go back and refer to as we go forward in this process. Saving it to November 18th is one, two, the executive full board will not meet unless they do a special meeting after election to appoint people to fill our seats. Right. So you're looking at December before you can have a full board of people being brought in. Now, maybe, and this is maybe a prudent thing for the legislature to do, is to have some uh, members who are standby Alternates, and that's what I proposed. Because nobody knows who's yep. going to drop out. Yep. We wind up with three absences because mm -hmm. of, of, a, of a health issue or a family yep. issue, and we're going to have to replace some people. So if there's people who are willing to make it part of their life to come and sit in the audience and listen, or sit yep. behind us wherever, and so when the opening does, they move up. That's another way to handle a, a dropping out situation. I look at Isaac. Isaac does not was never part of the original group. He was coming to the meetings, an opening came up, they appointed him. Then something happened, and next thing we know, he's running for office. So it was no, it was no planned, activity, <laughs> planned event in this process. So as far as I'm concerned, the process should go ahead. We don't stop, and if whoever's lucky enough to move on, fine, they'll have the experience of going through this, and uh, it'll, you know, it's not gonna really change the outcome in the end. Thank you. Steve. I have another idea for consideration be blunt, I think we should all resign, all of us, and let the, the wisdom of the newly elected legislature either choose the same people they had or re-choose. So that's up, open for discussion tonight as well, We're raising that issue. All right, Bruce, and then we want to go to Steve. Yeah, I, I haven't spoken to the motions that have been made. I would like to do that. I only talked to the process before. but. Uh, First of all, I don't see how a member of the commission can do anything here that would affect the elections in the fall. That's why I thought this was crazy to suddenly rush and try and stop this meeting from happening. I do, that does not seem to me possible. I don't know what a commission member could do that would affect the election in any way. Uh, we are in the fact-finding stage. Uh, as members come and go, there's always videotapes of every meeting. I missed one meeting. When I was back in town, the first thing I did was sit down and review the meeting. Those are available to everyone. There's no repeating of dog and pony sh shows here. There's no need for that. Um, second of all, this is a public meeting about governance. We're in election year. What better time to have public meetings to consider how we all function as a government? And I think we should use this as an opportunity to hopefully create public interest in governance, and, and there's no, no reason whatsoever to cancel it. Second, to the point of vacancies if people are elected. Nadia faces a primary and then a general election, as does Ken. Uh, Isaac faces a general election. We've got five hurdles to go through. If, if Ken survives a primary, he's up against an incumbent. Nadia will be up against an incumbent. Uh, 
Isaac is up for an open seat. This is not necessarily a done yeah, deal. The chances are that we're at November election. He's endorsed by the Working Families Party. Yeah. Okay. There's there's very little possibility. You know, there's no reason to believe we're going to have three vacancies. And I think a much better way to do it is what uh, we just suggested. The the uh, Ken with the alternate. Ken the alternate superb way of doing it. We can continue functioning. Frankly, if we shut down business for six months, I'm not sure. I think these. Um, Commission meetings are mandated, are they not? And is there a provision for suspending them for six months? There's no provision under the charter to say when the charter commission has to finish its process. Just uh, that, no, after ten years, that, starts. Asked, uh, that's not the point I raised. Okay. I asked whether there's a provision for suspending it for six months. The that, that's the question I asked. I didn't ask whether there's a time limit on. I said, is there okay. provision for suspending it? Very different. Let's Sam, not use the Sam will correct me if I'm wrong. We are a creature of the legislature. If we did nothing and said nothing and they chose to suspend it, they could, they could choose to stop it and start all over, they have all of those rights. Of we course. have no authority in any of that so if then, we did nothing. Then I think we should Sir, signal our pressure. attention to the legislature and let them act as they will. But I am in favor of continuing to meet and I love the idea of alternates. And this is something that I propose to you, alternates, because we do this on the planning board and the zoning board. We have alternates who attend the meetings, are full, fully aware of all the conversations and decisions, and only vote when there is a vacancy on the board, when someone is out sick or can't make it. Or conflict. Um, or conflict, yeah, exactly, conflict yeah. of interest. And of if, if someone is not elected here, I wish you all well, but if someone's not elected, these alternates can also serve in other events, in, in sickness or... Right personal right, problems they go on. that arise, again, whatever, you still have a, a bench to work from There's no for provision reason. for the alternates on this Correct. commission. There's that no would provision. have to be created. Yes. That would have to be and created. That was the issue the that you brought well, up. That's what right. I think we should create. Okay, yeah. if it's okay with everybody. I'd rather listen for a while. <laughs> Well, he didn't get to hear what I said, so maybe he should listen to the tape first. <laughs> I can rewind. Okay? That means I have to stop filming. Because I'm sure he wants to hear what I have to say. Always. Yeah. I know. That's why. I think we should okay. sum it up quickly. The legislative body is a political platform as well, and they get to continue government as usual, so there's no reason that this body can have, as volunteers that are non-paid, that pay for their own gas to come here should continue discussing their concern about Sullivan County. So you're saying you're, you're, you're no different than an incumbent on the legislature? Well, I'm not saying that we're not incumbents. See, we're, we're now county officials. I understand your interpretations because now we're important people. But every meeting is of, of this body has not been an executive session, has not been private, and has been public. So just yeah. to as, bring you up to speed. As Tim said to me the other day, there are seven candidates in the legislature yeah. Do we shut it down? There's nine. There's an election? Nine candidates. No, not two seated not up running. here. There's seven candidates seated two, in the legislature right now. Oh, two, two well, there's seven seven candidates. That's correct. That's correct. So do we, do we, the Ken's point was, do we shut that down? Of well, course, that's we what that's I, silly. I think we're all adults here. I think we can continue. We can do th two things at once. We can chew gum and walk, and that's what we should do. Right. And file federal lawsuits. Anyway, go ahead. OK, Sam, you're on. I mostly have questions. <laughs> Sam, you want to bring a chair up? Would that be easier for you? No, that's fine. Um, for me, it's a very odd question. It doesn't give you a clue to what I'm thinking, but it gives me information. Let's assume all three of you were to run and lose. Appropriate for you to stay on. Yeah. Um, Loses get a voice too. Losers on the county but board Sam, don't get a voice. There are positions. They're not running for elected Sam, paid office. That's there right. are not. positions. Just not running here because you made a comparison between the commission and. The no, my comparison was you know comparison government was. continues. I'm just asking a question. And I and I'd like to reply to that. I do apply for positions where I work. And if I don't get that position and someone else does, I don't just throw up my hand and say, I quit or be, become vindictive. I mean, I suppose people could. Yeah, that's my, but, that, but, that's my point. Um, we would so sour somebody that they would 
He could. He could. He could. Because but there are 12 of the members. Right? Right. I'm going to have that voice right. and that power. I'm powerful. Wait. If you've ever been involved in a political campaign, losing does not leave a good taste in your mouth. And so I'm just, I'm, all I'm doing is asking a question just to understand how the members of the present members of the commission feel about it. When I walk in the room, somebody said, well, the members of the county board could not be sitting on this commission. That's not true. They could be sitting as ex officio members. Yes, officios. And had they wanted to, they could have appointed one, two, or more of themselves Correct. to sit here without a vote. They would have had all of the participation. We have legislators that come to these meetings and they, they raise their hands and they, they participate. They participate fully. The one thing they don't have is a vote. Um, the fact that you are considering a potential suspension, and that's why I called Paul this afternoon to say, I want to understand what's going on, it makes me think that there are at least some of you who think that being a member of this commission at the same time as you are running or elective office is incompatible in some way. That is, does it give you a special advantage in running or what have you? I don't, but it, that's the logic of what I heard. The logic of what I heard was that we shouldn't have commission meetings going on while the election is going on. And the only, only possible reason I could come to for that there's somehow some incompatibility with having the two of those at the same time. I'm going to suggest something. This is, please, don't jump down my throat. Um, Paul just, he said, what is your idea? And I said, I'll give you my thought. It's not the county attorney's official position or anything of the sort. Uh, it's how I think it might look better, right? Because the last thing anybody would want is somebody to say that there's an appearance of conflict or an appearance of impropriety. The appearance of somehow, as an attorney all these years, the appearance of wrongdoing is usually worse than the wrongdoing. <laughs> um, I think you ought to at least consider can't suggest it officially, I can't do anything of this work, but I think you ought to at least consider the possibility of your three current members who are going to be running for elective office to transform, them, transform themselves into ex officio members by resigning as voting members. They would have, they would come to every meeting. They would have the same participatory rights. They would, they would add to the communication and conversation in the same way. And it, it really does deal with the issue, I think, in a very clean way. I think it's unclean way. Well, I see it just the opposite, Sam, because these people were appointed to this commission. Whether I agree with them on issues that we discuss, that we're not even discussing. We haven't even voted on changing the code. We haven't I voted on I'm changing the just, charter. We haven't even argue. entertained no, I'm not anything. To argue. I'm telling you. No, I'm no. Procedural I've words. had a long day today. Please. Okay, I understand that, but Sam. And thinking about it. Sam, and I'm thinking about it also. That makes the most sense to me. How could that make sense? Person. I would just like to say that we should continue meeting and getting information. Mm -hmm creating alternates, mm -hmm. and then when we become elected, we become the ex-officios. Exactly. And on that I end. And I would, some, at the appropriate time, I'd like to make a motion that we ask the legislature to create the process where we can have alternates named to the committee. Mm -hmm. the commission. Yeah, but that leaves a different issue. I don't but know. But we're what, not elected. I have no idea what the legislature would do with 
that, that, you know, that's beyond me. I don't. Well, we have stupidness. no say what the legislature is going to, to, to do as well. well. Just listen for a second. I know that's hard sometimes. And it's hard I to listen to you. No knowledge for a legislature. You might think otherwise, but I don't speak to them on a regular basis. They don't speak to me on a regular basis. Could they turn around and said, we appointed, we could unappoint? Good. I would think they can. And well, move. not without looking ugly. Pardon? Well, not uh, without. But that's, <laughs> I'm just being asked whether they would, could they? Yeah. And that makes a whole mess out of this whole thing. Well, they don't have to do that. Sam, can you tell me, or anyone tell me, how the candidacy interferes doesn't interfere. Process it appears the to give. I mean, there's the one issue I understand that Larry raised that yes, if people are elected, then they are no longer on, on the commission. That I understand, but this sort of unstated notion that somehow merely being a candidate and serving on the commission at the same time, you talked about the appearance of, of, of wrongdoing. Not I don't wrongdoing. know what you're talking about. No, 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 I didn't say wrong. I was very careful. With this appearance word. of Wrongdoing, you said, is sometimes I worse than wrongdoing yes, itself, I, I believe, is your exact phrase. Uh, can you use, can you use, Nadia and I go back way, and we don't, we've discussed lots of things over the years. Can you use your active current membership on county commission as part of your credential in a campaign? Like, like being a seated legislature. Like well, you, the county you officials. Never avoid. Incumbents will always run. That one you can't avoid. So I Sam, know, they any could... Any legislative body where incumbents don't run. So Sam... Unless they've reached the Sam, time limit. Sam, the three, the three candidates right. can go now and say that they're running and they're, they're, their record shows they're county officials. So That's they can correct. now say that. So they're That's county correct. officials. That's number one. Number two, let's look at this for a second. Ken Walters. He was appointed by the person whom he is running against. Number one. Number two, <laughs> Nadia. Nadia is, was appointed to this commission by a legislator who is no longer seeking office. Number three, Isaac. Isaac filled the slot that was appointed by Jonathan Ruiz, and, and it was the consensus that they needed someone young, someone who participates in government, and, they, and Jonathan Ruiz appointed for his slot Isaac. So right. when we analyze this on, on a county level out there to the public, let's look at the three people we're talking about That's and where they're coming from. You among yourselves, please understand. I'm not here to debate. Well, ask me to come. I ran pretty fast to get back from Middletown on time. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam, we get in, Josh? Uh, and he just asked me to I want to give you my thoughts, period. Not, I don't want to debate. No, no, it's not a debate. I'm you, just you debate among yourselves. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I have no official role. Uh, I do go back a long way with boards and agencies like this. Uh, and I'm just telling you how it's struck. Period. Nothing else. Sam, my my issue. Was, that was an interesting suggestion that you made. Right. We should all resign. Let him resign. My issue was uh, not that Put you would have the credentials to brag about an election. But my issue was a conflict of interest. That uh, a, a, a political person, which I am not, the most political thing I do is vote, that's it. That someone sitting on this board, if we talked about term limits or, or salaries, they are influenced how it would affect them. That's and correct. I think that's not kosher. Right. I don't and there's case law that says, do you know why you can't be on this board as a voting member if you're a legislator? Just to be clear. Do you I, know? Yeah, let, me, no. let me finish the question. Okay. Do you know that? No, but I was talking about something that came up earlier. I don't think the Charter Commission sets salaries for the legislature, does it? No. Okay, yeah, so let's just take time. that off the table because that's... We don't set anything. Yeah. All we get to do is suggest. Yeah. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. I don't think they've suggested salaries uh, in the past. Uh, you know and I don't know why we would. Do you know how, why the members could not be, uh, the county legislator could not be a voting member of this uh, commission? 
they got to vote on it in the end anyway. So because you can't be a member of a body over which you have overseeing rights. That's the case law. The county legislature does have some overseeing rights over the commission. One is not stated in the charter, but I think it's relatively clear that a board that appoints can also remove. So that's an overseeing right. Uh, they have the right to audit to the extent that any money is spent or something like that. So if, if, if you were an actual legislator, it's clear that the county, that the state controller and the state attorney general would say you can't be a voting member of Correct. Of the then. commission. Is it logical then to say that up until the time you get sworn into office, you can be a member of the commission? It comes very close. It really does. Because you're running for an office that has overseeing rights over the commission. I just have a question. And if you lose? Um, so you're making the assumption that any one of us, three, or all three of us, will make influential decisions to Absolutely sell. not. Oh, okay. I, I'm, maybe I'm I misinterpreted. I'm making the assumption that it is a possibility. Well, I'm not we, saying we, any one of you would do that. We are still in a fact-finding arena. We're not making any decisions. Right now, we're calling people in and listening to them and getting questions. By the time the election comes around in November, we're still going to be in our fact-finding mission. We're not going to be making any decisions. I don't think we're going to be ready by November. To, do you think we're going to be ready in November to make any no, decisions? No, probably next probably year at this time. You still get to influence the other members. You still uh, might have your own private agenda as a politician. And, <laughs> and, and that's the possibility on any kind of group like this. And I don't think uh, I, I have thought about whether you or Ken or anybody else will go one way or the other. It's just a normal thing that you shouldn't be sitting on a board that's going to recommend something that would affect you. No, it's going to affect every taxpayer and every resident in Sullivan County. Then none of us should be on this because it's going to affect all of us. That's it. avoiding the issue. But that's bit. not avoiding the issue, Sam. No, because you're going to be talking about, I'll give you one issue that's a direct. I would hope that before the end of this commission's term, you're going to be talking about staggered terms of office. That directly affects Correct. us. Correct. I, I agree. We need it. I would hope that you talk about the issue. That's personal. Uh, I agree. To be official, I'm just saying personally. I would hope you talk about staggered terms. Mm -hmm. I would hope that you would talk about county executive and term limits. The, uh, even term limits. Those are things that have, would affect the board directly. Forget the taxpayers. Even that would affect the board directly. So. But can I ask you a question? If we're thirteen, we're thirteen. You can say that this commission is going to be making recommendations on things that will affect the body that oversees the commission or has overseeing rights. Now with 13 members, yep. the three running would be three votes. And you didn't have, you know, to have wait, 13. Wait, you wait, have wait. any number that they wanted. Wait, you don't know what the commission itself will come up with at the end. They won't be discussed until at least next year at this time. I'm not talking practicality. No, 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 but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, it would just be research that anyone can s come up to speed with with what we're discussing. Bill, you're talking about practicality. I'm talking about something else. I'd like to raise a point here that hasn't been brought up yet, and that is, uh, I believe it was our last meeting, we talked about the relationships between the town government and the uh, county government. Chris Cunningham's presentation took a lot to do about that. I believe you spoke about it, Sam. Now, Larry, is on his town council, right? Should he have be thrown off the commission because that discussion could influence his, his being on the town council? Boy, and now we're talking about town and county governance, how they relate. Is that a conflict? No. I mean, you can f slice this down every way. No one has yet brought up a single fact in how any of these three individuals could do something to shape the election or to shape a future county government for their own benefit. The town council can't affect and oversee or audit this commission. Nor will they be able to if they're elected. 
They may talk about their platform. And I, I have another this, suggestion. This is not going to be finished in this year. No, not for a very long time. So I have one more people suggestion. Are elected, they, in fact, could be in a position to have influence over this whole position. No, because then they're gone. Larry, we but probably won't have here's care. One, here's one more suggestion stuff. we can make to the legislature. If there's no provision for, for an alternate being named, we could ask the legislature, this could be our suggestion to the legislature, name three more people. Now, if any of these three are elected, they resign, and we were already fully staffed, and these people are participating from day we one. We could become ex officio, like Sam suggested. Yeah, if you choose to. That's another matter. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's another matter. But in other words, we're not down strength mm -hmm. in January. Mm -hmm. Just appoint them now. Point exactly. them this month, point three more people to the uh, committee. You don't have to recreate the structure for alternates, which we do not have, apparently. So let's just expand the committee. If we list three people, then throw them overboard. Well, like Go on. The appointments. What? The legislature names the, uh, the yeah, committee which, which commission members. The they, current let one. them all do that. Let them current figure one. that out. That's their business. They're smart people. Uh, let them figure uh, out and name three people to a commission. Does the legislature have the authority within under the charter to do an alternate system if they so choose? It does. It, 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 it's one section of the code 105, the charter 105. It doesn't specify number. It doesn't specify how they're put in and how, what. Uh, it doesn't designate it hardly at all. Um, so, I, you know, the alternate is is a form. You're, they're actually being placed on the board and vote, what you're talking about before the town board, to vote instead of someone who doesn't make an appearance, not in respect for going forward that they're taking over the position. Um, I did want to say something about the question about the town uh, uh, official being on this board. What, Sam stated before, and I, I looked into it a bit, we're not saying there's a conflict of interest, you're gonna take advantage of it financially. The people say there's a conflict between offices. The proper phrase, and I, Sam said it, but I wanna stress it so everyone understands, it's incompatibility of offices. I think all three of you would agree that <coughs> holding the position of legislator and being on this commission are incompatible. So the holding the position here and being on a town board are not incompatible because this board is subordinate to the legislature. That it has authority, as Sam said, over that. That's why it's incompatible, because they can control. It doesn't say about removal, but it's the assumption, as Sam said, if you can appoint, it doesn't say anything about how it's appointed, how you remove it. It doesn't have a term of office. It doesn't have a number. It does nothing like that. It's literally one paragraph. So the question before the board is, and I don't take a stand on this ethically, morally, or even legally, is the question is, if you're running for an elective office, which is clearly incompatible with a county board that you're currently sitting on, is it proper that you remain on the board? That's a far stretch. That's, that's, that's yeah. a real far we, stretch. We do it's, not, it's not a far stretch. That's, well, that's exactly you what we're being asked to discuss here today. Do you agree they're not incompatible until they're elected and take office, right? Until then, they're not incompatible. We do this all the time in this country. A senator runs for president. Obviously, you can't be senator and president. There are mechanisms for dealing with this. We do. Guess what? If you're elected president, you give up your Senate seat, and someone's appointed to fill it out until a special election. We, we know in the United States of America how to deal with these things. There's an orderly way to do it. We don't, oh, someone's running for all, throw up your hands, cancel everything, which is the way this thing started out. It was panic mode, it was inappropriate, and we can, should proceed like intelligent, rational, calm people and proceed with the commission. If the, if, if the in their legislature, in their legislature, if the legislature wants to name three more members just in case they're voted out and these guys are voted in, let them do it. Somebody that's that's them. their place. Can I ask you an important question? If this does get suspended, can we still keep the title of uh, a fish county official until it reconvenes again? Yeah, ethics apply to you. The yeah. Legislature <laughs> agrees to let you take a five month hiatus. We could still be kept. Well, would be kept. We'd be. If they didn't terminate the board, or so we're still county officials. Good, good. They, I just wanted to make sure I keep the no, title. That means you're bound by ethics. I'm going to answer the question properly, yes. not when you think I have. Oh, go ahead. No, I, when yeah, you I ask wish a you question, would. I'm going to answer it. Go ahead. They have many options. If you present to the board a resolution to seek a suspension of it, they agree to that and make no other terms or conditions on it. The board, like any other board, you just don't meet for six months. There, there are certain boards that don't meet that quite often. 
and they didn't seek to terminate any of the appointments, then you'd all be members of the commission until such time as you reconvene. There'd be no change. It just means you wouldn't meet. So we'd still be but they have the op they could There's other things. They have many options to present. They, they don't have to just rule on what you present to them. That's my point. If Bill, you, why if do you, you want seek, that if title? If you seek only to terminate. Oh, I, I think it's spend, wonderful. I don't want it. I was given it. You were given it. But why do you want to keep it? I'm just curious. Oh, no. I have ethics charges. I'm a county official against me. So, so you wanted to protect you from ethics charges? No, I have ex ethics charges against me because I reported on something. Well, that, I don't want to know that yeah, okay. story. I just want to know why you want to Oh, no, to I just want sure to make sure that, that you keep your title. I have an ethics charge against me saying that I'm a county official. So I just want to know that I am still, if, if they take this on hiatus, if we're considered county officials. Did you know you were a county official? I could care less. Well, did you know you were my one? county uh, get a little bit more modern, get a little bit more streamlined, and, and do things a little better? I, but did I don't you care know, if I have a title did you or know not. you were a county official? No. Okay. That I neither did no, I. Do I, I care? Did you, Ray? No. Did you, Larry? I did not. Did you, Ken? Yes. Did you, Nadia? After you told me. Okay. Did you, Isaac? Did you know? No. Did you know, Bruce? What does it get us? No, I just pegged. Did you know? Be yes, clear on that. Okay. Just to be clear you know. on that, okay. Bill. That term, county official, relates only to one law. Generally speaking, if that law didn't exist, I would not consider you county officials. I would consider you volunteer members of a county entity. It's the way they define county official in the ethics law. So that you're a county official solely for the purpose of the county ethics law, not for any other reason, Bill. I'd like to mention why I, uh, I, I think that we should at least talk about salaries. Uh, I, I believe the salary for a county, le a county legislator is something like twenty-one and twenty-two thousand dollars, and it's supposed to be a part-time job. But from what I understand, it's more than that. And to me, if we don't uh, suggest a, a higher salary, we eliminate uh, a plethora of possible candidates Absolutely. who cannot afford to take the job. Absolutely. We had, we had someone that was considering running for a legislator, and, and that person did not run for that very reason. And that person would have been a dynamic person if elected. Well, I suggest if we take up county salaries, we do it next January and not before. Well, we're going to take up all those issues next year. Larry, I just have another uh, thought on the uh, Ken's suggestion because I really hadn't given the alternate option much thought coming into this. And I would think that if there's, if there's a consensus to uh, suggest that we look at alternates, I would, I would say that they should be maybe three alternates at large, if you will, not tied to those three seats. Mm -hmm. Anything I happens agree. again and we yeah. have a, a, a member who has to resign for some reason, one of those could step up rather than, well, I'm, I'm only here if Ken resigns, for instance. Exactly. Well, it'll be alternate one, two, and three. Yeah. Right. Just one second. You heard what he said. Mm -hmm. is, is that a possibility that they have the, could they do that? As, the, as Tom said, that the current provision in the Charter, which is something the Charter Commission might want to look at, is so vague in terms of who gets appointed and how. The only thing that this legislature and the legislature, two legislatures ago, when they appointed the last Charter Revision Commission, seem to agree on is that there should be a member of the Charter Revision Commission from each of the current legislative districts. So what they, what they did, and that's not in the Charter, uh, the chairperson of the Board of Legislators <coughs> asked the members of the board to each make a recommendation. That made sure you at least had nine members from each of the legislative districts. This time around, you had, uh, uh, if I recall correctly, in one of the discussions, Gene Benson wanted to make sure you had a representative from every town. So the, the numbers began to fluctuate. 
How they finally came up with 13, I'm not sure. Well, Scott had two. No, it's the minority leader has two, uh, the majority leader has two, and the head of the legislature has two. So that's 13. That's how they came up with it. That's how I don't know if that's what they did or no, not. That's, that's what, what they, they did. That that's what, what they, they did. did. I wasn't privy to it. There were two appointments no. from Scott, two from Kathy Labuda, two from Alan Sorensen, and one from the other legislators. I, I wasn't privy to that. You think I'm privy to what? everything. I'm nine, not. Six, two, uh, nine, ten, eleven. There's, there's they nine definitely wanted one from each. Ten, eleven. Legislative and then there was one. I'm sorry. The chairman had two and, and mm -hmm. each legislator. Yeah. I'd like to clarify something. In the very beginning, I tried to explain my thinking because of my great concern. Um, and when the idea was presented to me about simply taking a hiatus, I thought that that would eliminate controversy, problems, everything, and just make it good could move on and let the election come, and that would be the end of it. And it seemed like I a good was, rationale. It, it seemed like terrific rationale to me. It seemed like an excellent idea, and you know, I just couldn't think of any better way to get us from point A to point B without a problem. What if what, we, what I, if we can suggested? Can I just finish, because yeah. this is important. What, when Sam called today, he was talking about, you know, the legislature, the commission should continue on. It's too long to, to not be involved. There's some other things you've got to take into consideration. I guess what I didn't realize, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Tom just clarified it. Even if we went into hiatus and the legislature did not specifically make a change, just the simple hiatus doesn't change the status correct. of the members. Correct interpretation. So if that's the case, then what I thought I was trying to help fix doesn't fix it. To change the status of taking affirmative act in the legislature. Okay, so what I thought or would fix it doesn't fix or it. Okay, so that now, now we got if, that clarified. If you want to take the summer off, <coughs> you know, that's another story. <laughs> well, they're actually in the resolution. If you did that, you missed three straight meetings. You're out. Yeah. That's the no, only no, it, term. But that would be a, there yeah. would be no. no that's it's, missed, the, it's in the resolution. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. You miss, I think the they only, have the option. It, it, interestingly enough, Sam said the only thing they talked about was one from each district of the two. The only definitive termination of a member of this commission is directly in the resolution appointing all of you, is that if you miss three consecutive, I think it's consecutive, or maybe just three meetings at a whole, that you could be terminated immediately. That's considered cause by definition, and it's in the resolution because- That actually came out of the bylaws of your predecessor commission. Correct. They, had had, they, they went they were on so long, long they had some problems. People not showing they, up. And they put it in their own bylaw. The legislature may also want to think about um, having uh, commission members sign a, a document they will not run for office if, if they agree to serve on the commission. That could have been done, it wasn't done, so we're here where we are today. I don't, I don't think that would be that's not allowed. That's not constitutional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course, we'll meet in jail. We'll meet, we'll meet in jail. Uh, I don't think that any of this. We have is we have complete. some issues. Oh, okay, Ken. I'm sorry. Ken. Uh, this ex officio thing. If we had people sitting around a table who are ex officio, they still may be able to be participating in discussion and, and have all the rights that everybody else has. So if they were if they were members of the legislature, they'd be no different than somebody running for office in that case. Mm -hmm. All right. If we, it was shows that we should, the three of us should bow out, nothing would preclude us from writing on our campaign material, previous member of the, of the Charter Commission. So it was, you know, it was, you're either a previous member of the legislature or you're an acting member of the legislature, or you're part of, part of these things. They all show some involvement in your community and some degree of respect by whoever points you to the bodies. Technical question. Back to you. If, if they did correct what you, what you requested, if Ken and Nadia and Isaac. Well, I just want to. I don't think Sam was requesting. We were merely putting an option. Uh, an option on the right. table. Right. right. This is an clear, option. Okay. Sam, I have no official role here. You right. understand that. The issue was presented to us if we wanted okay, to put in other get, options than the one you had. That's all right. All right. But this is a, a, a important technical question. Yes. If they exercise the option that you suggested and the three resign from the Charter Commission. 
for well, them to resign. Resign. They should resign from the Trump What are they, what are they doing? Well, what am I, it, let, let me well, get to the point. Let, 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 let me finish. Let well, finish. Well, it does not suggest these well, people well, resign. Let me interrupt. Let me no, go ahead. I didn't say resign from the Charter Commission. I said resign as voting members of the Charter Commission. That's what I'm trying to get to. position as an ex officio member. That's what I'm trying to get to, to make sure everybody clearly understands. If they did that, does the legislature have to reappoint them ex officio members? You would make a recommendation from this board, whatever it is. No. no. The board would have to replace three Answer. people. Right. But I just want to make a point here. We're not voting on anything. The only thing we vote on is to approve minutes. And to adjourn. Uh, and to adjourn. <laughs> I said, we have not really voted, nor are we ready to right. vote on anything. We right. are just right. gathering information. Mm -hmm. And in January or November, it'll become evident who will stay or, or not. Right. I'd like to make I, a I motion that, that the committee that. continue to meet with the, all the members as voting members now, and that we ask the legislature to consider appointing either three alternates at-large alternates or three at-large commission members that can replace anyone who resigns for any reason. And they're bound by the same rules and regulations. They have to attend all the meetings. Yep. The only so thing is that they cannot vote. If they're at-large members, right. they would become part of us. If they're right. alternates, they would be all like alternates on a jury. They would sit and listen right. and hear everything exactly. but not vote. Okay, Bruce, I'm going to ask you. Please. I can't ask. Did you get that? Not all of it. Okay. Point three well, alternate. I want to make sure that we all understand. Would you please make it again clearly? Yes, I, I move that the committee continue to meet, that it not suspend operations, that no one excuse themselves, resign, uh, become an ex officio member. Everyone remains a full voting member on the committee, and we continue to do our work on a monthly basis. And we ask the legislature, for a variety of reasons, to consider either creating three alternate positions, so if there's an illness, or any other reason, uh, including being elected to the legislature, those alternates can take office, or alternative legislature prefers, add three at-large members who immediately become voting members. Okay. Well, it's two things. It's, leave that to the legislature to decide no, 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 between no, alternates. No, 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 we want to know, you know, no, no, I'm just trying to help you, Bruce. Okay, here, okay. You, you're, you state it. You, you're, you're, you make you're, the motion. You're getting, you're getting too wordy. First right. of all, you can't use the word not. All well, motions are supposed to be in the Okay, interview. would you put it in the... Uh, I'm trying to get it. one of the yeah. things. She's got to I get it right. <laughs> think, let's, let's work on it. I don't think you can vote to tell individual members what they should do. Well, you cast that motion, it was... All right, I see what you're saying. I'm trying to you get what I'm saying. The three members have their own views, their own conscience, their own whatever. They're going to make up their own the decision. The motion should be basically to ask the legislature to consider three alternate members be appointed to the board and act as ex officio and only vote when there's an absence of another board member to fill that seat. Or expand the board by three members. Don't go you there. can't do All that. Right. Don't All go right. there. Okay. All Just right. leave it the way it is. Okay, fine. But how could someone, and we will continue if someone is out for one meeting, can someone vote? Who's yes, the, they, 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 they take okay. your place. Like if. Let's okay. say you have uh, alternate one, two, and three. I you're out, that. and Bruce is out. So you know alternate that? one well, and two come on and vote. I know I, that yeah. I don't think. As long as those, as long as those people are showing up, all the I don't think so. Yes, that's how it works. I don't think on the charter. They shouldn't count towards a quorum. They should no. Just I'm hypothetically, yeah, how right. knowledgeable they would they be? Yeah. To because they have to come to every meeting, just like we do. So they're going to have to be at every meeting. They, so they have rules yeah, but they, they may have a different to viewpoint uh, to, to look at the issue than one of us. Uh, you know, whoever but we're not no, really voting. No, I agree with Larry that, that, that they should not count towards a quorum. No. 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 But they okay. are there to be become full voting members if a member, for any reason whatsoever, has Leaves to the leave board. the commission. But Bruce, if they don't count towards a quorum, and if you have three out, now you've gone from 13 to 10, you're still no, going to have seven no, if a few No, 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 no. The minute someone is out, we're 13 because they're going to appoint someone anyway, or the first alternate would automatically be seated because there's a vacancy now. If there is, the minute there's a vacancy, they're appointed. A vacancy as opposed to an absence. That's right. That, uh, that's what I, I, yeah. I, I think. Yeah, I agree. They don't the have to the quorum. The person does not have voting rights okay. until that person is officially Seated. appointed to replace somebody right. who has left or whatever. Right. Right. Okay, a that's a difference of what was right. just but said. But they would have to decide amongst themselves whom they agreed to appoint, the nine members of the legislature. Right. That's their problem. That's their yeah. business. Go ahead. 
All right, we can do let's that. make sure we get this right. Did I you? Don't have it right you at don't all. have it. Okay, <laughs> we got to get this Ken, straight you, you, you before we do this anything. Through, please. You're the one. We're gonna have mayhem here. And increase the salary and make it full time jobs. <laughs> For the commission to continue meeting as a voting member and appoint three alternate members if there's an illness or any other reason due to elections, etc. And then, uh, then somebody I wouldn't put any reasons in it. Simplify that. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. leave the top off. We, we right. recommend that the legislator appoint three alternate members to the commission. Okay. Not voting. As ex officio? Yes. Three has to be ex alternate ex officio members abiding by the same attendance rules. Who will become full voting members of the commission Who in may. the event of a vacancy? And what? Who will descend? To, who will become a full board member? Who shall? Or shall become a full board member? It can't work. I'll tell you why. Phil. Because it Phil, all knows, and I Phil, know why. They're making a motion. Okay. Then there's going to be a second. Okay. And then, then we'll there's going to be a discussion. Okay. Okay. You interrupt everybody. Good. Okay. Go ahead. All right. But um, she's got to get this. Go ahead. Right. Okay. Where, where got to go at, to the please? legislature. Uh, who shall become a full board member? We want to start from Upon the beginning. the vacancy. Period. Okay. Repeat it, Terry, please. Repeat Motion it. moved to recommend to the legis that the legislature appoint three alternate members to the Charter Review Committee as an ex officio member abiding by the same attendance rules who shall become a full board member upon a vacancy. Upon a not a weekly vacancy. A vacancy, not an absence. Yeah, vacancy. Vacancy means permanent vacancy. Permanent vacancy. Who's moving this? I, I made a move. Mm -hmm. Ken's I, moving. I second it. First and second. Great. Okay. Great. Now the floor is open to discussion. Bill was first. I just, I just want to say very briefly that each legislator appoints. So. If that person leaves, how do they know who is going to fill the spot? Because they can say at the end of the day, if someone who's appointed by a legislator leaves, like, like I'll give you an example, J.J. Hansen. J.J.'s being replaced by Kathy, Le Kathy Labuda is selecting someone to replace J.J. That was her appointment. So how can we tell the legislative body that they're going to fill a vacancy in case there is a vacancy on here? My only point. Alternate number one will fill the vacancy. How they select the alternates is their business, that's not right. ours. But that's business. not There's how. three at large. Well, at that point, it's, it's you know, perhaps. No, it's up to them. Them. Wait, wait. Ray was next, then Steve. I think that we need to establish uh, alternate one, two, and three. And when we have a vacancy, number one. Yep. Number, and so forth down the line, number two and number three. Uh, my curiosity, I, I think there's about ten of us here. I wonder, with the legislator being seven Democrats and two Republicans, is that reflected here? Are, are most of us Democrats or Republicans? Because that's going to affect the appointment if we have three Democrats being appointing the alternates, it's... I, I, I was a Democrat appointed by a Republican. And you were a Republican appointed by a Republican. Right. Okay. There are a lot well, of let Democrats Ray finish, wait, table. Steve is next. I, so, so that's the only problem I see that it's almost stacking the deck. I don't think that's well, fair. Well, the voters stack the deck. It's okay, a, Bruce. Sorry. I think they have another issue the legislators are going to struggle with. Uh, they came up with a scheme that each one of them would pick somebody from their district. Now you're asking them to pick three no. alternates. It wasn't from their district. They weren't from the district. I, weren't, I wasn't from the district. Well, maybe you should have. <laughs> but that's not how it happened. Right. Could have, should have. Well, worked. from what I understood, each legislator got to pick somebody. Now you're going to have 
how many legislators are there? Nine? Nine. And they're going to only be three alternates. They can figure that out, I bet. You know, okay, the Ken people. is next. Uh, I, I'm going to amend that motion that the alternates be designated alternate one, alternate two, Excellent. alternate three. And the vacancies to be filled in that order. I'll have this second on the second on the amendment. Second. Discussion on that. Right. A motion to amend takes precedence. You have to vote on the amendment before you can vote on the motion as amended. That's Robert's rules of order. But before we do that, Bill's point never got answered. Okay? Bill's point never got answered. I don't know how we vote until Bill's point gets answered somehow. What's we, that? Well, yeah. That, that's the question. I, it, it, um, I, I would make it simple. Just say that the Charter Review Commission keeps meeting, and, and, and that, that's all that I would say. And that unless, I, you know, between ourselves, logically, we're not having any votes on codes or, or anything like that right now. If you want to hold the county manager off until November, that could be an option of ours. Uh, to have other research that we've been getting from the county in the meantime. Uh, you know, we want, we want to talk to the DA. We want to talk to the sheriff. We want to talk to Bethel Woods. We want to talk to all these other... Um, Commissioner of Public Works. Correct. County clerk. You've correct. Got a ton of them. We yeah. want to talk to the county. Exactly. So why not hold off on anything that wouldn't influence this board that has to do with codes or... or uh, charter issues such as that and this way we continue our scope and our research uh, dealing with the population in Sullivan County so they could tell us what their needs are so that we could discuss it further. Point, point of order. We have a motion. We have an amendment on the floor. We vote in a second. We discuss that amendment. We vote on that amendment. We then we can discuss the, the motion and then a separate motion to keep meeting is totally is another motion not part of this motion. So we'll okay. Ken made first. a motion to motion. amend. Who seconded the um, that? Amendment? I seconded the amendment. Okay. So now we have a motion. We have an amendment. Read the amendment only. A motion to recommend to the legislature to appoint three alternate members designated as alternate one, two, and three to the Charter Review Committee as ex officio members abiding by the same attendance rules, who shall become a full board member upon a permanent vacancy. Discussion on the amendment. Laws open. Discussion. Hearing none. Move the question. All in favor of the amendment. Signify by saying aye or raising your hands or whatever. Okay. That passes. No. Now. Steve. Steve. I, I, abstaining I or? Same. Stay, stay, take a vote of that. Now, okay. I would like to make a motion. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Now, you have to go back and insert oh, the right. amendment. By, by positively voting the amendment, now you call the question of the resolution as that's amended. amended. Correct. Okay. Discussion that's on Robert's yeah. rules sure. of order. You call it, second it, and it's open for discussion. That's right. Okay. So let her read it. It's now amended. The other one doesn't exist that's anymore. So we Thanks, let her read it as amended. Motion moved to recommend to the county legislature that they appoint three alternate members designated as alternate one, two, and three to the Sullivan County Charter Review Committee as ex officio members abiding by the same attendance rules who shall become a full board member upon permanent vacancy. Moved by Ken Walters, seconded by Bruce Ferguson. Okay. Terry, it should be commissioned, not committee. It's the charter. The resolution says committee, but we, because I talked with Annie about it, and she said leave it committee because we get confused with one and two. Okay, that's, that's the right. proper name of it, it's the commission. But okay, okay. Mm -hmm. you have heard the amended resolution. Okay, now the floor is open for discussion on the resolution as amended. Hearing none, we now have a vote on the resolution as amended. Everyone in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, so state. Peggy is opposed. Abstain. Steve abstains. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Carries. We need seven to carry anything. 
need seven for a board, seven for a board. Now, all right, do, do you guys, you got clear what it is that's gonna be sent over? So you can explain it. Okay. Oh, I don't know. That's, 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 that's your job. I think we have a motion Okay, here. now, just if I can for one second, we took care of the alternative. Steve raised the issue for discussion of all resigning. Do you want to pursue that discussion? Yeah, I'd like to say a few words. I think for the good of the county and not for the good of me or each individual here, with each of us has the right to have an, their own agenda, I think we should all resign and uh, let the legislator, legislators uh, have the freedom uh, to pick uh, us again or somebody else. Well, isn't that just getting back to the thing I said earlier? Uh, that is a personal decision. There's no such thing as us all resigning. There's you resigning, me resigning. Yeah, so so anyone who chooses resign. to resign should resign. Why would we you resign? Missed the point, my friend. No, you I missed, missed the point. I, my resignation, resignation is up to me, not to you. Your resignation is up to you, not to me. So if anyone wants to resign, they should simply resign. Bill was next. It has my, nothing to do with. Steve, I just have one question. I'd like to make a motion. Why would we resign? To give the uh, the, uh, the county legislators the freedom and not the pressure that we're giving them now to choose us again or replace us for the good of the county, not for the good of me. But and what it has nothing to do with me individually resigning. It has to be something that you rise yourself above yourself and you make a decision. I'm not what's, resigning. Well, so then you, you're you for you resign. and not for the county. You can, you can do Bruce, this, Bruce. make personal, but that's not Wait, the way it is. It is personal. Per Bruce, please. Okay, further. Comments, Bill. I would like to make a motion that we send a letter to the legislature saying that the Charter Review Commission wishes to continue meeting and that the subject matter will be broad in scope and will not involve discussion or decisions of codes and in and, and part until uh, December 31st. And the subject matter what? I'm sorry. Will not involve uh, uh, changing the county code just to do general scope. Why, why would we have to set well, Okay, so to just say we, th okay. If we so then we just decide choose. decide not to vote this time, we're not going to vote. I think. Okay, so then we choose to continue meeting. That's it. That's the I motion. Like that the Charter Review Commission uh, will continue meeting. Will meeting. continue we'll to meet. Continue right, and, and if I could say this, if you're making a suggestion to that fact, that we hold off on having Josh right, that's back us. until such time. Nadia chairs the next meeting automatically. Okay, it's be up to her. JJ is gone. We right. have two of us. So Nadia will do that. She sets the agenda. So I'm assuming if she honors that request, that she'll set the agenda by bringing in speakers for information purposes, not that we'll be directly talking about. So we could have the sheriff. We could have Nancy Fox. Yeah, we could have that's your prerogative. Right. I would you love to bring the anyone. county manager and to ask him questions about the code as soon as possible. That's. I don't think we should bind ourselves in any way. I think we well, should that's among us. To do so our business. Just like I, yeah, I make so a well. motion that we tell the, the uh, make a motion that the Sullivan County Legislature to inform the Sullivan that we wish to continue meeting. We'll continue meeting. Well, well, that we why? will continue meeting. I wish to. Okay, Bruce, please. Ken, next. Why would we want to even bring that motion forward to them? Because they haven't asked us to do anything. Well, apparently they have. Scott Samuelson sent that email, and it is going to be a discussion. I believe that will be Thursdays. Tomorrow. Whichever. Tomorrow. Okay. Then. Okay. Then. And which so I think that we should let them know that we met tonight and that we, that we feel we, that we, we should continue meeting. Right. Period. Okay. I'll second that. But, but can't, they vote, can't they vote to d disband us anyway? Of course, they can do whatever they, they can do. What they we want. are, so we're just making we're recommendations. We are their creature. So right. They can tomorrow eliminate us completely, put us into hiatus, right. do anything basically that they choose, start all over again. Right. Correct? Yes. They have that absolute power to do that. I guess we won't get severance back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whether we say anything or not, they're going to have a discussion right. because. The fact is that there are three people. Well, what they decide to do about that? It's up to them. That's up to them. So all of this here is just uh, yeah, just, just to waste a few hours. Right. Well, <laughs> not really. But. Okay. 
I mean, I just, Larry. <laughs> as part of the communication with the legislature, as we're sending this resolution that we just passed over there, the, the, the communication should be that we've addressed this issue and this is how we resolved it and allowing us to continue. And hopefully they'll embrace that and see I that. And I like that. Something like that we don't see a problem with continuing, to how, however we want to phrase it, but something along those yeah. lines. I think that makes I'm open. That's sense. what I, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. if we just continue. We wish to we continue, continue meeting, meeting and we don't see any inherent Sounds conflicts ethical. in doing so or mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Okay. Sandra, did, did you finish making your comments? I, I did. I just wanted to see, like, uh, what are we doing? Uh, will it make any um, sense? Because if they're still going to do what they want to do, which we don't really know yet, and they're meeting tomorrow, um, what does it matter? But I, I can understand about the fact when Bill brought up the idea of sending a letter or something to state that we have addressed the issue and we would like to continue, just so that there's a communication going on. So that I understand. But I mean, sometimes to me it's just like a moot point. Well, we may be persuasive with the legislature. We, some legislators may say that uh, they've addressed this. Like Larry said, we should make it clearer that we have exhaustively discuss this and come to uh, a decision. Mm -hmm. And some legislature will maybe respect that. Others may not. All right, so we're discounting even thinking about attempting to ask for a hiatus because apparently it doesn't affect anything anyway. So Correct. why go through the exercise right. and it doesn't accomplish anything? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a dead issue. Um, Tom, Sam, do you have any other thoughts while we're trying to <coughs> figure what's the next thing? No. Uh, okay. If you want to deliver a letter with that resolution by tomorrow for uh, the committee meetings, that's probably a good idea. Executive Executive the letter, I think, right? My only comment is it's not a waste of time. This is your opportunity to explain in detail to the board that can decide your fate what you think is best for the county. So I disagree that any of this was a waste of time. Okay. Put it into words so that she can get it exactly because she's got to write it and get it there yes. in the morning. Make okay. a motion that the charter wait, review. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Because I'm not going to be in tomorrow. I'm going to Westchester, and that's the problem. Do you want to write it? Got to get it done I don't tonight. know how to write. So. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. got to get it done I tonight somehow. Stuff. No. Discussions. After, oh, you want to say after this? Yeah. After, after exhaustive discussions, amongst the members of the Charter Review Commission. Mm -hmm. The members of the Charter Review Commission are, are, are requesting that the, Sullivan, the members of the Sullivan County Legislature keep the board intact and that we continue meeting as scheduled. Mm -hmm. Let her read it back. Wait a minute. Uh, keep intact and that we continue meeting as scheduled. Stop. Let her read it back, please. Isaac, stop talking so much. Okay. Motion moved to, to recommend to the Sullivan County Legislature that after exhaustive discussion amongst, amongst the members of the Charter Review Commission, members are requesting that we keep in track that the Sullivan County Legislature Track? No, intact. Intact. That's okay. Keep intact. <laughs> and that we continue meeting as scheduled. Remains intact. Are you moving that? We'll just continue yes. to meet as scheduled. Yeah. Wait. Yes. Bill is moving it. Is it? Okay. Remains intact. Are you going to put in that the next few months are going to be fact finding? Or we believe that it will oh, be we fact could put that in fact there. finding. Yeah, we could put I that in there. So yes. that they, there's clarity to our Absolutely. Mind. You can add I don't that in. Think I don't think we should put that in. I think, uh, I think we can. Let them let them know. Okay. I think let them know that we're just doing fact finding. That we're not. Well, nobody's yeah. voted here. Yeah. yeah. We're not about. We've to never vote. even discussed the code, the section, whatever. Right. Okay. Yeah. Technically, Bill is making a motion. Once he's worded it, we need a second. Then we'll have discussion on it. So, okay. are you going to add that language? Yes, please. Okay. What is your language? Peg, go ahead. Recognizing. Is still in a fact finding mission. Mode. 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 Yeah. Mission. Okay. Period. Fact finding mission. Mode. 
mode, mode, no, no mission mode. Talk of the original motion and and then for just the very opening phrase. I'm sorry, what? I said that amendment could be at the very top of the original motion. Yeah. Right, just read it back. I don't believe there was a second at all. So no, I'll, I'll second that. Well, just for the whole thing. Yeah. yeah After the whole thing. Read it back. Specific discussion amongst members of the Sullivan County Charter Review Commission. Members are requesting that the Sullivan County Legislature keep. And then somebody said remains. Keep the commission intact. Intact. And that we continue meeting as scheduled. Recognizing the fact that the commission, the committee recognizing the fact that the commission is still no, recognizing the commission is still in fact finding mode, no. right? Recognizing the commission is still in a fact in a fact finding, finding mode, mode. correct? Moved yes. by Bill, yes, moved by seconded. Bill Leveling, seconded by Nadia no. Raj. Well, some of it was written by Peg, too. Okay. So. okay. I'm now. sorry. That, that's fine. All right. Do you want? Oh, that's right. I'm screwed up. Don't Just worry. Now. No, that's fine. Okay. Floor is open for discussion on the motion. Hearing none. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, so state. Abstain. Abstain. There are two I think abstentions. Under Robert's rule, you have to state reason for abstaining. No, we actually don't. It's only under the county board's own rules. Okay. 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 So I know you know them, but technically under Robert's rules, you don't. The have legislative to. rules call for a, an actual demonstration of a of a yeah, conflict yeah, of interest in order to abstain. That's not applicable to this board. Well, it and only we adopted Robert's, and that's what we're under, and we don't have to do that. We have Kenny, to I believe we should all resign. Okay, no, that's, that's, no, no, that's no, why I'm abstaining. I know what you no, said. I, I get. Okay, so you're Isaac right. and Steve have abstained. Everybody, Everybody else, else voted yes. Motion passes. Okay. Now, that took care of. Um, is there any other? Nadia and I had two things in what we sent out. One was to make the decision that we have we've gotten that far. Is there any other issue that any charter commission member has of concern that they wish to raise? Question. Ken. Yeah. Hey, what? Okay. One has to do with housekeeping. I believe when we have public here, we should be sitting up at the dais where there is microphones because sitting out there becomes real hard to hear. And we're not doing, and people on that side of the table are not heard by the people out there. And there's enough microphones and chairs for all of us to sit up there and speak into a microphone and be heard. Okay? We make out much better in there. Yeah. yeah, well, that's why that, we're that, out here, to right, be honest. I with understand. You. Uh, since Bill brought it up that the one who appointed me to this commission was Kitty Better, before I even ventured out into deciding if I was going to run or not, I actually met with Kitty and explained to her my reasons why and gave her a heads up because I didn't want her to hear from anybody else because she's been very good to me as far as that goes. Now, the other point is tomorrow there's going to be legislative meetings. You know I go to all of them. And I will not do this unless you want me to. Is if they come up, this comes up, this resolution comes up, and they want to more input, unless you're going to be there, Paul. I can. I'm working. Okay. Do you <laughs> want me to so give a run for the legislature? I would, I would suggest that if you could clarify some of the points. Um, Does I, anyone I have an objection to no. Ken? trying to explain and or clarify if the question arises. No. Is there no. any objection from no. anyone? No. Thank you for doing it. Hearing none, Ken. Thank you. I, I would not do it if I didn't have the authorization. Okay. Is there any other issue that anyone wants to bring before us tonight? I just that is what I said before with these ethics charges. Just want to make it very clear that the Charter Review Commission is open to the public. There is nothing that we have ever discussed that is not in an executive session, that is not open to the public. And I just want to make that very, very clear. And whatever charges are levied against me personally will be fought, whether to the ethics board, or in state court, or federal court. I want to make that very clear. OK. Any other thing about what Bill said? I do. So if we arrive at another situation like this in the future, say eight months from now, the elections are done, 
do we want to set up a protocol um, for communication amongst the commission or committee uh, to avoid um, frustration, for lack of a better word, so that if something were to occur, that the protocol might say, we all have to come together to discuss something before we have other conversations. I think that's, I'm going to speak, I think that's what we finally came to the conclusion of after Paul called me and discussed this. Um, it's not, the chair should discuss, certainly, and then it should be brought to the full board, and that's what I think occurred this time. So if you want to make that a written protocol or policy, I mean, I, I just think it's logical, but yeah. I disagree that this is a, uh, if it's about a decision that the chairs are empowered to make a decision. Well, and that's not what I'm, I'm suggesting. I'm not saying you did say that. I'm just making it yeah. clear what I'm about to say. And the easiest way to do this, everyone has email. We should have a list serve mm -hmm. that everyone can participate in. Someone posts a subject, starts an email thread. Uh, do, do we cancel the meeting for the following reasons? Everyone gets the information at the same time as part of the same discussion not a discussion here and a discussion there and a discussion there. And we have it all out in the open and everyone's free to participate as equals. I think it's the only appropriate way to but, handle it. But I just like want to shed some light on this because Paul and I do communicate. The last time he was chair and I was to be chair next, we do communicate as to what's on the agenda. That's so different. are you suggesting that we email all that conversation as no, well? No, no, no. I'm I mean, saying if it's anything that potentially affects a, a decision that would affect the workings of the commission like okay. canceling the meeting, right. like suspending the well, If there's any cancellations at the meeting, I think it would go to Anne-Marie and no, the No, I'm not Terry. talking about weather. I'm talking right. about oh, something's happening. We have to, we're going to cancel this meeting. That right. kind of discussion should be open to everyone on the same basis. There shouldn't be sidebar discussions between anyone. I, I was trying think. to do so much so quickly no, I understand. because I'm I didn't not, have another I week. Understand. So uh -huh. I, You're I talking about Steve you, human actually. nature. That you cannot stop people from you talking. You can't control it. You cannot control it. You can have and a what you're sir. talking about is a gag order. No, I'm not talking yes, about Yes, you are. You're telling about about each of us not to talk to each other without everybody else hearing. That is and that's what you're talking false. about. You're talking F about you're suggesting we, a gag order. And if we're caught talking without the whole group, we get sanctioned, punished, fired, You just whatever. invented that. No one said anything about sanctioned, fired, punished. You just you made that up. Stop just please recognize talking, you just made that friend. up. Wait, excuse, excuse me. Ken is next. There's, there's, yeah, apparently there's, not. There's, there's two issues here. Whatever you two people want to carry on, fine. I don't care what you do. I'm not telling you what to do or how to do it. But when there's a general email that's discussing uh, an upcoming thing, I think, and I think Lauren can set it up. It all goes through the same server. It goes out to everybody the yeah. same way. Okay, and done. You know, if you want to call Bruce and he wants to call you, that's fine. You want to email back and forth, that's fine. You want to jockey for Bruce, I don't care. All right, that's free speech. But as far as business of what the commission does, and if, if, if Paul or Nadia has something on her mind that she wants everybody to get input from everybody, then that should go out to everybody and it gets reported. Everybody sees the conversation. I say it, I put it out there, it goes to everybody. Okay, so everybody knows what the conversation is going on. Larry's next. Um, I would just say on this thing that sharing information is fine. Just be careful that the group doesn't come to a decision that's not been out in the public. Right. We, 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 we have our hats on this right. thing. That this is, these are open meetings, and we don't even inadvertently want to make decisions amongst ourselves. Right, Sam or, or, or Tom, do you have a comment on that, on, on the legality of a listserv in the public review of the Ocean and Open Communities Law? It's, that's it's a just a pure discussion, correct? It's a policy decision. Okay. How you guys interact amongst yourselves. Yeah. It's not but we can't, we're not term. voting on one. No, we can't. You can't. No. We could yeah. discuss anything. Mean, it's a public yeah. body. Right. You can't take an official yeah. act in private. Anybody can talk to anybody right. at any time sure. about anything. That's of course. We have an absolute freedom to do that. Absolutely. So it's, it's, That's right. And if I had had another week, I would have done things differently. Not I mean, the accused can have. say anything he wants. He was well, accused for doing that. Well, when I commented, uh, I just went to Anne Marie's yeah. email because it had all the legislators on it and it had all of us on it, and I just used that to hit reply, change the subject line, and weighed in on the subject that was being debated in these individual conversations that were apparently well, going on. Isaac, I think you made the point, and obviously we would try to deal differently in the future, and hopefully there'll be time for sanity, okay? 
I just want to say Not one thing, Paul, because I have to run. Um, the next meeting is July 15th. July 15th. Correct? Yes. If, if there is. Um, if. <laughs> if we exist, right. <laughs> and, and you're... Does anybody have a preference as to who should be on the agenda? I mean, I, I think Nancy Buck is, is trying to get on and... Um, well, Nancy, Joe Tudora, wasn't he ready to Nancy you can't use right now, I don't think. No, Nancy well, we can't use. On, Joe no. Tudora? No, and see, Joe's budget is over 50% of all the money that we spend, and it's a tremendous part of how the whole government Mark, operates. Oh, okay. So. Josh, Joe, and Nancy should be held. In they my should opinion, be held. To, okay. That's right. Can, Deal with everybody else. Can we make a suggestion? When we have these presenters, I wish they would address their issues towards the charter and how it helps or hinders their operation. Right. Okay. Because knowing what they do is one thing, but we need to understand where they could use, where they think they could be helped by the change in the charter or what's hindering their operation because of the charter. Second. Tom has a housekeeping issue yes. with the Tom. The, uh, I just wanted, uh, if, if anyone disagrees, I was handed six acknowledgments tonight that I will deliver to Anne Marie Martin. I got one from Paul Burkhart, from Nadia Zavach, mm -hmm. uh, Sandra Field. Larry Richardson, Stephen Altman, and Margaret Harrison. Nobody else, just these six, right? I, and I otherwise, you everyone took care of it directly with, with Anne Marie, right. if they uh -huh. or not, as they see fit. Right. I just want to make sure these are the six I'm going to deliver. Okay, those are the six, but just so everybody is clear, in my mind, I may be wrong, but I think there may be somebody out there that did nothing. Maybe Dave. Dave right. And I'm not sure if that's the case. From what Andy told me today, that there may be somebody out there. But somebody's going to have to make a decision what that means. That's not up to us. Or a phone call because he could be out of town. Yeah, I have no phone call. He wasn't the at the last meeting. meeting. I'm sorry, well, Sandra. Well, I won't be at the next meeting. I'll July 15th. July 15th. Mm -hmm. Okay. May I just say? Peggy, have the floor. We as a committee determined, different than what the county attorney suggested as his personal opinion. Right. So we should recognize the fact that we may have the legislators, if asked the county attorney for his, his opinion, agree with them. I just want to put that statement out there. Just because we made a decision Absolutely and came to a conclusion, right. contrary to what the county attorney said personally about his own opinion, could put us in a position with the legislature if they decide to follow his opinion. They can do whatever they want. Okay. They can I fire us all tomorrow. Right. Can That's can it. <laughs> Sam says he doesn't have an official position. Well, his position would be. I don't know. No way, Sam. Just let me know what you want on the agenda next. I've got to run because I got to watch. Good luck. I move that we adjourn. I second. Anything else to come before this meeting tonight? Motion to adjourn in order. We already did. Bruce made it. Seconded by. All in favor? Aye, 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 aye. See you guys in uh, July. Thank you.